One of the most prevailing prophetic perspectives making its rounds in the Christian community today is commonly referred to as the fig tree prophecy. Some Christians believe the Lord revealed this parable as an end time sign. We read about this parable in Matthew chapter 24. In this chapter, Jesus is asked by his disciples two distinct questions. What is the sign of your return? And what is the sign of the end of the world? Jesus proceeds to answer their questions and explains in detail how shortly before his return, there will be a time of great tribulation and a rapture of his people. He then provides them with the parable of the fig tree. Matthew 24:32. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. In a nutshell, many prophetic students of the Bible who seek to understand the mystery behind this parable, which was revealed by Jesus during the end of his ministry, have concluded that if the fig tree represents the nation of Israel, then the parable he provides is revealing to us how the generation that witnesses the rebirth of Israel will not pass away until the return of Christ occurs shortly before he sets up his literal 1000 year kingdom here on earth. The key to deciphering the mystery behind this parable is to first understand that in a parable one thing is usually always symbolizing another. In this case, a tree, the fig tree, does not represent a literal tree. Instead, it is a metaphor for a nation. The solution to this particular parable is not grounded on trying to comprehend the length of a generation, but by understanding that the generation which were born within the date of the miracle birth of Israel on May 14, 1948, will not pass away die until after Jesus returns at the end of the Great Tribulation. We read in Psalms 90.10, the days of our years are threescore years and ten, seventy, and if by reason of strength may be fourscore years, eighty, yet is their strength labour and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Of course, even today, this is the general period of time given to the average person's lifespan. Therefore, if you add 80 years to 1948, the year Israel became a nation, you may end up with the expectation that Jesus will return by the year 2028. In other words, the generation which was born the same day Israel was born will reach the age of 80 in 2028 and witness the return of the Messiah, i.e. that generation will not perish before witnessing the return of the King of the Jews. This description is the most common end times prophetic understanding of the parable of the fig tree. However, Jesus Christ explains he is returning to rapture his people after the tribulation. The tribulation is the seven seal scroll from the book of Revelation. This is the infamous four horsemen of the apocalypse. The first horseman is the white horse, which symbolizes pestilence, a plague, virus, pandemic. This horseman is described as having a crown and going out to conquer. However, he has a bow, but no arrows, symbolizing he will conquer with an invisible weapon. This is obviously the pestilence that is described in Matthew chapter 24. Interestingly, the Latin word for crown is corona. The second horseman is war. The third horseman is famine and inflation. It describes an inflation which progresses to the point where a loaf of bread is going to cost a day's wages. The fourth horseman the pale horse symbolizes a depopulation of one-fourth of the global population. This will be around two billion people today. The fifth seal is the death of the martyrs. 
where Christians are going to undergo persecution and we also read that Jews also around the same time will also succumb to the same fate. And the sixth seal is the rapture Jesus perfectly described in Matthew 24, 29. And the final seal is the introduction of the trumpet judgments where there's silence in heaven for half an hour. Consequently, the question remains, if the fig tree symbolizes Israel and Jesus is going to return within a generation, 80 years, of this fig tree, and Jesus is returning after the tribulation, then we therefore must fit in a tribulation period within those 80 years to the countdown to 2028. Subsequently, if this parable of the fig tree prophecy is true, we should unmistakably see the tribulation events, the seven seal scroll, unfolding on the world scene around 2020 and onwards. The question remains, are we seeing that? The answer is obvious. Yes, and in the perfect expected order that was written down in scripture. Pestilence, war, famine and inflation. So, are we in the early stages of the tribulation period? Is the church going to be raptured in 2028? You decide.